Here hi, restaurant. Here hi, cow pat poo or fried rice with crab meat restaurant with meaty crab. Selected by quality. Passed down a crab fried rice recipe of the house and start selling them. They are fried with ancient Chinese method, done plate to plate. Even though it's only been open for around one year, but the restaurant is packed with customers every day. Which is what made Hair High get in the Bit Gourmand Michelin Guide Thailand list for the first time in 2020. If you love Thai food, please subscribe, like, share, comment, also you don't miss any exclusive content that dig deeps into more Thai food than anywhere else. Sawas D. Krub and welcome to ThaiFoodUniverse.com during Thai food near me part. My name is Doi Dirapas. Today we're taking you to see. Here hi, restaurant. Here hi, cow pat poo or fried rice with crab meat restaurant with meaty crab. Selected by quality. Passed down a crab fried rice recipe of the house and start selling them. They are fried with ancient Chinese method, done plate to plate. Even though it's only been open for around one year, but the restaurant is packed with customers every day. Which is what made Hair High get in the Bit Gourmand Michelin Guide Thailand list for the first time in 2020. Khao Pat Pu or fried rice with crab meat originated from China which are made from leftover rice and then stir-fried with other ingredients to create a new dish. From there, fried rice has spread along with Chinese people who migrated to all over the world. Each country adapt fried rice to the taste of locals and available ingredients. Main ingredients of fried rice besides the rice can include meat such as pork, chicken, red pork, shrimp, crab, or tofu, egg, soy sauce, or other seasoning sauce that can help bring out the fried rice color in becoming appetizing, as well as vegetables such as kale, carrots, peas, and spring onions. Fried rice is the use of white rice to stir-fry together with sauce or chili paste or various other seasonings to bring out the taste. The sauces can include tomato sauce, chili sauce, black soy sauce, or soybean sauce, then various meat are also added. These meat can be pork, chicken, squid, crab, and shrimp. The name of each fried rice dish are usually called depending on the meat that was used and maybe the egg that added in as well. It's possible to top the fried rice dish with a fried egg for decoration. The vegetables used are main kale and sprinkled on top with cut up spring onions. However, crab fried rice won't use kale. Fried rice are usually seasoned with chili fish sauce and squeezed lime juice. Besides these, fried rice that are stir-fried with different chili sauce may be called the name of the chili sauce instead such as chili paste fried rice or cow pat nam prick narrat. Next, let's take a look at the kinds of fried rice that are widely popular. American fried rice, even though the name is called American fried rice but this dish actually originated in Thailand. This happened in the age of the Vietnam War and it's a dish that were created to sell to GI soldiers. American fried rice are cooked with tomato sauce for the red color and stir-fried with chicken or pork meat, add in resins, peas, or carrots as well. It's usually served with fried eggs, fried chicken, ham, or fried sausage. Pineapple fried rice is the representative dish from Thailand with a simple cooking process. The dish can use chicken, pork, or shrimp meat stir-fried with pineapple, carrots, and peas, seasoned with sugar, sauces, oyster sauce, and added in deliciousness with curry powder. Some recipe will add resins as well. The dish can be topped with pork too before serving as well. Pineapple fried rice are advantageous and it's sweet and sour from pineapple that can help with the oiliness of fried rice, 
and are extremely attractive once served on a pineapple cut in half with the meat scooped out. This can add to the deliciousness and interesting appeal as well. Kimchi Bukumbap or Kimchi Fried Rice Just from the name, it should be easy to guess that the dish came from Korea with the main ingredient being kimchi, or a pickled vegetable that's sour, orange and famous in Korea. It's a Korean food that's easy to make, delicious and can be modified according to each person and availability of ingredients in the kitchen. Kimchi vegetables that are widely used is Chinese cabbage. The dish can add only kimchi or stir-fried with other ingredients such as pork, chicken, beef, seafood, eggs, and various vegetables as well. This all depends on the preference, and it's usually served with fried egg and soup. Yangzhou Cha Fan is a fried rice from people in the city of Yangzhou. There are many rich people living, therefore Yangzhou fried rice will add in shrimps, Chinese sausage, and cubic red pork. The red pork is boiled in water before stir-frying to take out some of the color. The rice won't get any red coloring from the red pork. Afterwards, the rice will be stir-fried with eggs and cut up spring onions, seasoned with soy sauce and maybe some oyster sauce or exo sauce. Yangzhou fried rice stands out with their red pork that is the main ingredient of the dish and makes the dish sweet, special in its own way. Nasi goreng is an Indonesian style and Malaysian style fried rice with a uniqueness in its sweet kakap manis sauce that is thick, sticky, and dense texture, which is added to the fried rice. It's usually served with fried eggs, fried chicken, Saudi chicken, and shrimp cracker. It's further modified to become goreng noodle that will use egg noodle stir-fried with a sweet sauce instead of rice. There are still many other fried rice dishes I mentioned in the beginning that it's a dish which is modifiable by adding various ingredients and seasoning according to convenience. It's easy, delicious, fast, and it's no wonder why it's a dish that's spread all over the world. Here Hai restaurant has been open for over a year, but the tastes are told mouth to mouth. It's been here high's ambition that's shown on the cover of every menu I, here high, I would like to make the best crab fried rice. Today, here high receives extremely well customers' response. It has to be said that, Chef Am was able to take his father's crab fried rice to a really high level. Even though it's been open for only over one year, Mr. Pritz said that he is happy. For example if in 10 to 20 years and dad is no longer here, we will still feel that he is close by. Because this restaurant is the original of here high, that is dad and therefore it's dad's restaurant and I would like to do my best. With older age, here high cannot come to cook by himself at the kitchen anymore. Therefore he gave the cooking task to the head chef, Mrs. Nusikorn Surika Semsawat or Chef Am, his daughter-in-law. Chef Am has a cooking skill, she grew up in a family that opened a restaurant called Warosha, which is her family business. When Chef Am was Mr. Pritt's girlfriend, she learned how to cook at Hair High, and Hair High said that his descendants can improve the dish to an even higher level than he can. From menu that are only even at home, to a quick meal that's hidden in the second floor of the good old noodle Warosha restaurant in Ekamai area. We're talking about here high that created a name from people telling each other. Kao pad pu or fried rice with crab meat of here high, Mr. Pitaktram pays it, added in crab meat without any conservation. The skill of Mr. Pritram pays it or serve, the son has continued his father's skills as a restaurant and then uses his name as the restaurant's name. Because Mr. Pritt wanted to start this restaurant by saving cost in renting place and Chef Am's family's Warocha Noodle restaurant have free space on second floor. So he opened Hair High Kao Pad the restaurant on the second floor of Warocha Noodle restaurant. Currently the restaurant has been moved to a building next to Warocha restaurant and got more space. Therefore they can take in more customers now. Here hi, the creator of this house crab fried rice recipe basically, I like to enter kitchen to cook since I was young. 
especially during festivals when family members are all present. Be it New Year, Chinese New Year, I will still make a lot of food. At home we like to eat seafood, so I made crab fried rice quite often. Each time I make it, it's so loud that three to four neighboring houses all hears it. With this house specialty dish, his son got the idea to use his father's crab fried rice recipe as the protagonist. When we make fried rice at home, dad will fully use all ingredients. Therefore I also think that if I open a restaurant, I should do the same. I will use the entire recipe from dad. We're lucky that dad has friends catching crabs in Surat Ghani. My happiness is be able to see people entire what we make. Love the food in our restaurant. Let's look at the first menu which is the signature dish of this place. That is the very crab fried rice that everyone has to order. Serve described that our crab fried rice is different from other places. First of all, we use extremely high heat and then fried in ancient Chinese method. This is to have the fried rice get a little burning fragrant from the pan. Once eaten, you will definitely get this fragrant. We fry non-stop no more than 2 minutes and the meat we used are a mixture of two things, the lump meat and claw. The selling point of the crab at hair high is, they will take out the clear part inside the claw out and leave only full meat to keep the taste good. The claw is the sweetest part, but people tend to like the lump meat part more due to its texture that fills your mouth. The jasmine rice from Surindra are fried must be those that are cooked and then soaked in cold temperature before we fry. No margarine are used in frying because it's not good for your health. The recipe they used at home didn't contain any anyway. The first bite you take, you will get the soft rice with a lot of meat, appropriate for the name hair high. Seafood sauce are served instead of chili and fish sauce for extra taste, because it can intersect the flavor very well. Cow pat goat at poo or very crab fried rice is a menu that you really have to eat no matter what.
Next menu is the very flower crab meat love scrambled egg at 380 baht. This menu started as a request from customer, the deliciousness of this plate comes from the meat lump that's on top of a half-cooked scrambled egg, along with seafood sauce on top, eaten together with hot rice. It will be gone before you even know it. Next is the very crayfish stir-fried with basil at 360 baht. The restaurant uses the place in Surat boil the crayfish directly on the boat. Because, if it's boiled later when they arrived at the shore, the meat will wilt. Once boiled, they will take out and ship just the meat, with a result of full meaty fresh meat. The basil stir-fried also has an intense flavor. I suggest those who doesn't eat spicy or can eat only a little spicy to order very crayfish stir-fried with basil without chili and then get it separate for you to put in yourself. The original taste of very crayfish stir-fried with basil is extremely hot. Another menu that's popular and is always sold out in the afternoon is the grilled giant prawn at 990 baht per prawn. The river prawn select are the largest one at a size of 2 per kg. The prawn are half a kilogram each from Bang Pakong River, they are grilled until fragrant and tender meat. Along with prawn oil that's dripping, fits very well once eaten with seafood sauce. Besides these, the restaurant also has a lot of back Thai or southern dishes like chaplo leaf curry at 380 baht served with rice vermicelli. The secret of this dish is at the top class curried paste and chaplo leaves sent directly from the south. That's why this menu got its intense flavor that's not too spicy. The important thing is, every bite you take has crab in it. Those who wants to just have some snacks or vegetable to eat together with the meat, the restaurant also have crispy crab roll of 120 baht. A Vietnamese menu that's similar to spring roll, eaten together with sweet plum sauce. There's also stir-fried cabbage with fish sauce at 80 baht. The cabbage is fragrant from the pan, and topped with self-made crackling. To get to here high restaurant, 
drive on Sukhumvit Road inbound and turn right into Sukhumvit 63, Alley or Ekamai Alley. Here High Restaurant it is a compound building between Ekamai 10 and Ekamai 12 Alley. You can park at Donkey Mall Fogler Ekamai, 20 baht for 3 hours. Here High Restaurant only accepts cash and no credit card. Here High Restaurant is 1.1 kilometers away from BTS Ekamai Station Exit 1. Here High Restaurant is open from Tuesday to Sunday from 11 a.m. until 6 p.m. But on Friday and Saturday they will be open from 10 a.m. until 8 p.m. The restaurant is closed every Monday. You can ask for more information at 666-321-99100. I accept all comments that are different from mine. Because, regarding the taste of how each person like, they are all different. Please kindly comment and respect others. I would like to announce that every restaurant we visit, we pay the expenses ourselves. If you'd like to support and encourage us to make a special exclusive content digging deeper into Thai food, you can support us with details in the description below. Before we leave, please let me know what your favorite cow pad food or fried rice with crab meat restaurant is. If you love Thai food, please subscribe, like, share, comment, and see first for Facebook along with pressing the notification bell so you don't miss any exclusive content that dig deeps into more Thai food than anywhere else. Only this way ThaiFoodUniverse.com